Hey there YouTube, uh, tonight we're making some rope with a fairly simple process. Um, I watched a video a couple days ago where they used a, a, basically a spinning stick to turn some twine into rope and I thought, well that works out pretty good while you're in the bush, but when you're still at home and you want to make some rope, why not try it with a drill? Um, so I've got some bank line set up here and we're going to see if we can make some rope. Hey there YouTube, uh, while I was recording this I realized that I didn't go over uh, what I put in my drill to go about making this rope. Um, it's really simple. All I did was cut the hook off of a wire hanger. Um, so any any crook of metal will do. If you got yourself like a an eye bolt and bent out the eye or uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what they're called but you can get a bolt to the hook on the end of it. Um, I was also going to use a tent stake that I had um, but this actually worked out pretty good. Another idea I had is if you didn't have something like this, you just had to check a wire that was a little too flimsy, is you could bend this in half uh, right about here and then put your rope in here and then put both ends of the loop in your drill and that would probably give it a little more rigidity and keep it from coming apart. Although that'd be a little more difficult because when you come to do the bend, you would have to take it out of your drill, which isn't a super big deal, but it is a thing. I don't know how well you can see this, but I've got my bank line tied off to my garage door there. I have uh, two strands, one black, one uh, high visibility yellow. And right now I've just got it all the way to here hanging off my dumpster. Just so you know, this process, uh, your rope's gonna end up being about a quarter of the length that you started out with. So I've got uh, about 35 paces of it here. So I'm hoping to end up with a rope somewhere in the neighborhood of 25 feet when all is said and done. Uh, so we'll see how she turns out. Now starting out, I'm gonna have the drill in the forward position. All right, so when you, you let loose and your rope starts to turn over on itself like that, that's when you're ready to go into thirds and finish up your rope. All right, so now we're going to hold it like so. And I'm gonna take this uh, bite right here, I'm gonna put it over my hook, and then I will take the remaining part and I will pull it out until everything's even and then I will hook it back on here and run the drill in reverse. I'm gonna start with traffic. I'm gonna try and get this on camera, so we'll see how it goes. Another thing I noticed when I was editing this video is that I didn't do a very good job of get of uh, getting how to fold your rope into thirds on camera. So I'm gonna try and show you oddly enough with the rope that we'll have at the end of the video. All right. So if the hook here is my drill, and this end of the line is where it's tied off on the other end, I'm gonna pull a, grab in the middle here, pull a bite out, and, so, and I'm gonna hook this over my loop at the end, and then take this loop and hook it into my drill. So it effectively goes into thirds here. So I have on this rope here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six lines because I've I had two originally and I put in a third. And then you'll run your drill in the opposite direction. So hopefully that illustrates a little better how to go about hooking your rope up in the middle of this process. So I'll get back to it and I'll see you at the end of the video. All right. So now that I've got everything folded over in thirds, which for my setup ended up being a, a better idea to hook it on the drill and then go hook it on the other end there because my uh, garage door handle is not the best hook for this, but uh, we'll see if we can make it work. Um, now I'm going to put the drill in reverse since I did the first set uh, going forward, now I'll go back. Alright, now I've got to the point where I'm, when I let it loose again it starts to bind up on itself. I'm going to go ahead and just give it a good hard tug here and stretch everything out and kind of set the twist. And then I'll use some electrical tape to go over each end before I cut it off of each hook. All right, so there you have it. Uh, in about, oh, probably 15 minutes total time, 
uh, roughly 20 feet of rope. Uh, I think it turned out really well. Um, I plan on using this a little bit in future videos and take it with me on the next time I go camping so we'll see just how strong it is. Um, I believe this, let's see here, there was four strands times through those, so there should be 12 strands, give or take, in this. Uh, I'm sure somebody, if my math is wrong, somebody will correct me. Um, so, in theory, I've got, well, I've got 12 strands of 113 pound rope. I don't think that's going to total out to being a 1,200 pound line, but it should still be fairly sturdy for anything you'd want to use this side of cordage for. Um, another thing to mention, since this is nylon, after I uh, taped off each end, I went ahead and used my lighter and burned them. If you found the video helpful or informative, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget that knowledge is the only thing that can't be taken from you. See ya.